we are three days to go and counting until Rock 104 officially hits the air. This is my desk. Mm. With a little help from from a few rock and roll icons. Oh, yes. Ooh, Sergeant Pepper. Yes, the old Apple record label, indeed. Eh? And uh, lots of uh, paper on my desk. Lots of uh, work to be done as the preparations continue. And uh, as you can see here over on my colleague's desk, uh, even though he's not currently in the building, because we're in here doing this video in the evening when it's quiet in the office, he's actually uh, working away right now through Log Me On. Well, on Formatics as we prepare to launch Rock 104. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, here we are. It's uh, kind of quiet in here right now. Mm, and dark, but this is uh, sales department and sales area. And we're walking down the hall, down the hall, and uh, we're going into the programming area of 97.7 CKFM, which is our country FM station, and then uh, you're about to watch the continuing assembly by Owen, our illustrious and excellent engineer of Rock 104 CKJX as the control room and rack room and everything else is being assembled as we count down to our launch, which is in three days on Friday at 1.03 p.m. Oh, here we go. So, as you can see, it may look like it's in disarray, but in fact, that's not the case. Owen is uh, working on assembling the rack for Rock 104. And uh, as you can see, all the tools of the engineer's trade right there as he uh, works on the assembly of Rock 104. This actually would be the, uh, the rack for the already existing CKFM 97.7, our country station. If you look over here, this is currently the beast that is uh, driving our test music over Rock 104. And I'll just take a quick tour in here. And this is our already existing uh, FM station, 97.7 CKFM. And as you can see, the control room chair is empty. There's nobody in the control room here. And the reason for that is that we are on, mm -hmm, you know, automation. So, automated, voice tracked, and uh, there you go. And I'm not going to bother Owen while he's on the phone in the other room, but now we're walk walking over to the brand new, soon to be completed, state of the art control room for the new Rock 104. And as you can see, once again. <laughs> ladders and hammers and screwdrivers and vice grips and all the, the necessary tools that uh, are being utilized by Owen to uh, assemble the Rock 104 control room. Some very nice microphones. News microphone, a guest microphone, and as I meander my way around through Owen's many, many toolboxes, here we are with a, uh, you know, a back view of, of basically what the board is going to look like. And uh, as you can see, the one monitor over here contains what is referred to as our cruise control. This will be our automation, our music system, of course, which is the maestro system that the most people in radio are familiar with. And over here, well, this computer is currently in sleep mode. As you can see, we have uh, a number of programs here. But uh, primarily, we'll use this for everything from doing recording of uh, calls on air with contests to... Uh, obviously doing any type of uh, show prep research or access to information that we immediately need through our Internet Explorer. And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of other programs on there. But uh, anyways, there you go. So uh, a couple of monitors containing what programs we'll need. And, uh, and here we go, are with our uh, brand new board. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice looking board, pretty functional. One of the things that Owen has done, which we uh, are all very happy with here at the uh, new Rock 104, will be a new uh, hands-free phone system in which you can actually record your telephone call when your mic is off 
and uh, actually communicate back and forth with the caller with uh, no noise in the background, monitor noise, and uh, you got to like that. With just the click of one button, you'll be able to do that. So it uh, makes life a little bit easier, I guess, rather than having to go through a complicated uh, phone uh, system. Anyway, so a couple of keyboards, and of course a mouse here, another keyboard here, and then uh, a roller mouse track there for people that prefer that. So, uh, and uh, then we've got a couple of nice monitors here. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So this soon to be, in three days, will be uh, the new Rock 104, serving central Alberta, Canada, with a signal that uh, is going to reach as far south as the city of Calgary, and uh, which is about uh, an hour south of us, and then uh, as far north as... Um, Mm, I'd probably say roughly Wetaskiwin, which is between the city of Red Deer and uh, Edmonton. But uh, when you're driving around uh, the city of Red Deer, you pick up our station, ex uh, our country station, extremely clearly. And with our test for our Rock 104 signal, uh, you pick up the signal extremely clearly, um, you know, right there into... Uh, Red Deer easily, and also as far south as Cochrane, like I said, into Airdrie and uh, North Calgary, and then uh, finally, uh, our signal will be going uh, quite a distance to the uh, east as well. Can be picked up as far as uh, Drumheller, and then finally, uh, I'm sure as far west, anyways, as uh, at least Sundry to the towards the Rocky Mountains, and uh, so you know we have a a nice large coverage area with our, our prime focus being the existing communities of uh, Olds, Alberta, where we're located, Didsbury, Carstairs, Cremona, Crossfield, uh, Sundry, uh, Innisfail. Those are the primary large communities in our listening area. And then, of course, all the surrounding communities. And what makes it interesting, even though we're in a smaller community, serving a number of smaller communities within our county's area, uh, you know, we're smack dab in between a major market and a media market with a lot of radio signals plugging in here. So uh, it makes for a very competitive uh, market and will be for Rock 104 because uh, there's a number of rock outlets uh, already serving the market area. So there you go. There's Owen. He's on a call. Hi, Owen. Hello there. Good to see you. <laughs> there's the, he's the man. Without Owen, I'll tell you. It would just be a whole bunch of equipment, not doing nothing. Uh, Owen's putting Rock 104 on the air, and as you can see, he's, he's hard at work, so we don't want to interrupt him anymore. And uh, finally, I'll show you the uh, production studio while we're doing our little tour du jour today of uh, CKFM, 97.7 New Country, and uh, the new, very soon to be, Rock 104, where classic rock is made in beautiful central Alberta, Canada. So uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed our, uh, our tour. And uh, thank you for dropping by the studios. I am your uh, illustrious, seem to be morning man on New Rock 104. And uh, thank you very much. We're looking forward to hitting the airwaves and hope that you're ever passing through. Central Alberta, Canada, on what is known as the QE2, which is the major freeway that passes through our area. You will take the time to either tune into 97.7 CKFM, which is our new country station, or our new rock station, Rock 104 CKJX at 104.5 on your dial. So until then, thanks. Take care. I'm Dave Michaels. Bye.